Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So I got asked about making pastel colors. And so I thought I would do um, an art journal page. This is like an abstract art journal page. I did, I'll link this at the end of the video. You'll be able to click it at the end uh, or on the screen. Or if you can't do that, um, down in the description, uh, there'll be a uh, link that you can go check this out. And if you're new to my channel, hi, how you doing? My name is Kelly and I... I'm a mixed media artist. I love doing clay and jewelry and I knit and sew and all kinds of things. Um, I'm a disabled, a disabled girl with RA and fibro and la 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 la. <laughs> but uh, I love doing art and I love, you know, I don't know. It's my life. So if you would like to be subscribed, click the subscribe button down below and then click that little bell next to it. It'll notify you when I upload. So thank you very much. Okay. And then to the rest of my family out there, hello. So I did this and I used the Distress Oxides and inks for this, which of course you could use, you know, whatever. And it's abstract and it's, you know, I like the way it came out, although I am going to uh, do a quick video and show something other than that. Okay, so here we go, my God. All right, you can see this is where I wiped my uh, stuff at, but I'm going to, I'm just going to use this because I'm not too worried. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my camera back a minute okay. and I'm going to take, we have, I have some, uh, sugar plum, which is like a magenta almost. I don't know. And it looks a little magenta to me. I'm just going to put a little bit down. I'm going to use some perfect purple, you know, purple is my favorite color that and uh, green, but what are you going to do? Okay. So we got some purple. We got some yellow. I think that's all I'll do right now. Oh. Okay. All right. So let's make them a little pastel. Well, what you'll do is take a little bit of white. And you see the colors there, obviously. Let me do, let me do this. So I'm going to stick, let's go yellow first. You can see that color, obviously. Let me clean my brush. I am in the process of moving like my stuff down and what did I do with my brush? Um, you know, my stuff down this way for my camera because I realized the other day that um, that's your purple, that my camera was over here. I don't know what the heck my life is. <laughs> uh, it's crazy. All right, and that's basically the pink without it being uh, touched. So now I'm gonna rinse my brush again. And then I'm going to dry it and I'm just going to set it there for a minute. And I'm going to take my scrapey thing, palette knife, right? I'm going to take some white and this is just titanium white. You can use whatever white you have. You can use gesso if you want, you know, it's all about what you want. Um, so I'm going to, I always like to go lighter to dark. I don't know why, uh, when I'm painting, I like to do that too. Most of the time. So I'm going in. Okay. I'm going to add a little bit more. And you add as much, you know, until you get to a color that you like. You know, that it's lightening up. No, make it brighter, of course. Get all that off the tip. That's what she said. Kathy, hoo-hoo. All right, I'm done. Okay, so you can see. Now I'm going to take the paintbrush. Make sure it's dry good because I don't want to. I'm going to go in and. Can you see? Uh, that light. You could see the difference, kind of, huh? Uh, my light is all fachaded today because it's not. Uh, It'll look better once it's dry. You'll be able to see. It's not a. It's it was snowing and then it stopped, but it's not sunny, but it's bright, but it's not a good light. It's just you know. Let's move this over here. Okay, so I'm gonna mix and then I'll dry it. That's where you'll get the true color. And then I'll show you. So you see, I'm just mixing it, kind of like I cut my garlic. Very nice. I'm gonna go whoop. Okay, I'm going to wipe this off again. 
then I want that on there, and then I'm gonna go for some purple. Now, you know, I could sit here and do, uh, oh, mix this color with this, do that with this. I mean, honestly, you know, my, my thing that I love to say to, especially people who are new to art uh, or new to mixed media, um, you know, and you don't have a lot of money, but you want to do it. Uh, you know, my thing is this, Roy G. Biv Black White. I do this all the time. I say it. It is um, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, black, and white. And if you go to your local craft store, AC Moore, Michael's, whatever, use your coupon or whatever's on sale. Usually Michael's and AC Moore will have their brand on sale. And um, you can definitely, I'm going to dry this real quick. You can sometimes get them two for a dollar. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, go in, get a red, orange, yellow, a green, a blue, a purple, black, and white. Don't get, let me just show you. You don't want to get like, this would probably be a better one. This is not a true yellow. And this is like, it's called bus yellow. Now I used it and you can see it's almost a mustardy color. Um, you want to get, you want to get your normal red, like look at it and it's like a, a primary red. Some are named primary red, some aren't, but get like the truest when you look at it. It's not as big of a deal, believe me, but you look at it and you're like, you know what? This looks like the mustard I had last night on my hot dog. So I want something lighter and you know, you can see it kind of got like a brown to it. Um, you know, so you just want to get, oh, I gotta fix all this stuff. You just want to make sure you get, you know, a truer yellow. Um, you know, so like this is called true blue, uh, folk art, of course, cause I love missing folk art. Um, so this is something that you would want to get, uh, white, there's wicker white, titanium white, you get whatever, you know, I don't know what the difference is. I'll have to look that up. Um, cause I just don't know. Now this, you won't even need to buy a pink like this because you'll be able to make it from your white and your red or you can mix it with some of your purple with your white and your red and get a color do you see what i'm saying the point is is that you're getting these colors because they're all primary and you can mix them into secondary you can play around now there are certain codes that you want to follow when you're doing this because you could end up with um mud right my name is mud and you you know you don't want mud who wants mud unless you want mud if you want mud sometimes i like doing faux leather and stuff like that and i like to get some mud um going on in there as a dimensional thing but honestly we really don't want mud on our beautiful journals so um you know you, you do want to pay attention but i'm going to tell you coming from me and you will probably find a million other people saying a million other things um i love to play it's what i love to do uh that's why i do these things i you know i just love to do it and if it helps one person or one person watches and goes oh wow uh i really dig that i'm happy um, but I play and I mess up a lot. You know what I mean? And it's really the way you learn. I'm not somebody who can really read a book to learn. I need visual and it's how I do it. So this is how we do it. That's how I do it here. So all right, this is almost dry. It's a little thick cow. Now, mind you, I could put more white and make these even whiter, even lighter rather, but I just want to give you an idea. Okay, so you see how lighter, how much lighter that is and much more pastel. The same with this and same with this. It took that edge off of the color, if that makes sense. Does, does, does that make sense to you guys? So this is all that you would do is add some water. Now look, I mean some white. Now look, you want to thin this down um, because I love, you know, I love thinning stuff down. Um, I do. You don't want to add so much water to your paint to water it down where it's going to make it translucent unless that's what you're going for, which I like to do a lot because I like to go over my pages with the translucent white and that kind of thing. But you can water it down and you get a really pretty, I mean, look, look how pretty that is. And this is the original color right here. It's a gorgeous and it's thinned down. You saw I only did a few wipes. 
Um, and you know, that's all you have to do. I'm going to do it with all of them so you can see. Um, I just three little, three little squares and I'm going to give it a little mix. It's going in the yellow. The yellow's going in the purple. It's not going to be a pretty color, but we'll be okay. So now you can see, let me tell you, can you see, I mixed some of that crappy yellow in there and it made it like almost a brown. So you want to make some brown? It's easy. <laughs> it's easy. All right. And then this would be our yellow. <laughs> Making a little sound. And then like that. That's probably better with the brush. I just changed my water. I'm going to have to change it again. I mean, look at that. And it's like butter. It's smooth like butter. And that is washed, you know, with three or four squirts of water, you saw. And it's beautiful. If I go on camera, you'd really see it. And you see what's coming through, whatever I had on bottom. Because I put that water in it, so it's going to help make it some translucent and see what's underneath. And that's part of mixed media to me, is layering. And it's layering papers and paints and uh, pastels and pan pastels and ink and oh i could go on so this is just a little little something something um if you get to this point and you have all this stuff you know you, you have this left and you're like oh no what am i gonna do um go to a blank page or maybe you started another page or maybe you don't like a certain page mm. Let me do it on here so I will go in and I'm just going to scrape up what I have left here. I'm going to try to keep it a little separate, but they'll mix. And I'm okay with that because I'm just going to hit areas that don't have anything. And if they mix a little bit, it's just going to be okay because this is a background. Some people, not me at the moment, will just lay their book down in this. I'm not going to do that. And then I take a, uh, now look, look what's in an inspiring thing. Look at this paper towel I've been using. Look at these colors. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Not going to be after I get that brown in there. But I think you are picking up what I'm putting down. So don't be afraid. If you are somebody who cannot learn, I think that's why YouTube is so wonderful because there's so many people, um, you can just type something in and you will get, um, you will find somebody that does something that you uh, that you want to learn. And like I said, I love doing more technique videos than full art journal pages, ATC cards, which I love doing too. But I really like doing these techniques. Like, look, sit and play. Pick three colors. Throw some white in it. Go to town. Find something that at the end you're happy with that you did. It, it could be a page like this. You could just do swatches like I did. Um, you know, you could do whatever you want. Now, I should have put them on this page. That would have looked cool. Cool, cool. I think these are inks I did over. On, I don't know what the heck I was doing there. But anyway, you see how this is like already almost a background. So, you know, when you're ready to do an art journal page again, you just kind of go and do your thing. Now, the other day, I, uh, and I'm just going to say this, and I pro uh, Deb probably won't even watch this, but I, I think it was Sunday. Was it Sunday? My daughter, I think, was working. Dave was working. And I, I've been not feeling very well. I've been having a really hard time. So I was sitting on the couch and I had my phone. And all of a sudden, I see on YouTube, Artsology came up. She was live. And her name's Deb. And I love this lady. And uh, I've known her for quite a while. So I was like, oh, you know, I, I never get to go into live shows. I either miss them. Like, I always want to get, like, Angie's art channel. I always want to, like see her video, you know, see her live and hang out. And every time I either miss it or whatever. So I was sitting there and I was like, well, let me see if I can get on through my phone. So I did. And I got in there and I met, and a lot of people I knew, you know, um, but I met a handful of new people and subscribed to them. And uh, Deb, of course, she was doing these beautiful backgrounds and all. And I, I had a blast. So I'm so excited and glad that I can get on live shows with my phone because I, it's so, you know, I can sit for 15 minutes and be in a live show and, and participate and see what everybody's doing. Um, I absolutely loved it. And it really lifted my spirits. Um, 
that day. So if you guys, you know, you guys say that you watch me, you might not even watch this video, but I want to thank all of you and Artsology, Deb, from the bottom of my heart. I really, it did lift my spirits that day to be able to come in and talk and, and just, I don't know. It, it was a really, really uh, nice time and it made my heart full of love and a big smile. So thank you guys very much. Y'all know who was there. Um, so I'm going to try to do that a little bit more often. It's, it, it's hard, but um, when I see it and I can get on my phone, I'm going to, I'm going to try because I see a lot of live things and I'm like, Ugh. so anyway, as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. Um, progress, not perfection. I just love playing. You guys are just so wonderful. All your emails, all your Facebook, um, messages and everything. I just, it just makes me so, so happy. And I just love you guys. You're like my family in a sense. Um, oh, it's just bizarre. Who would have thought this online thing would have, would have caught on like this, right? So I love you guys. Share me around if you would like to. I'd appreciate it. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.